I wasn't sure. If You're I both was beautiful. Yet. Wow. Give it up for wow. Riley and Nathaniel, everybody. Okay, sorry, I'm just in my own world. Social media world. We are honored to be in your selfie. How are you guys doing? How are you enjoying Belfast so far? Oh, this is my favorite place I've ever been in the world. I'm not just saying that. I want to come back. I love it here. I don't want to leave. I've been here for a week. Oh, really? Yeah, it's been amazing. Well, we drove all over Ireland, wow. and it's just been stunning. Yeah. Very cool. Nathan, I love how it. How are you enjoying Belfast? It's, Have you got uh, to see much? Look, I'm not going to lie. It's a little too hot. It's for my liking. I li sunny. We live in Georgia, <laughs> where it's humid. Yeah. And when I got on that flight, I was like, yes, I'm getting out of humidity. I don't have to sweat as soon as I leave my place. And now it's just like hot and sweaty and, yeah. you know. Surprise, it's summer Yeah, now. is this normal? Know. No. No. Not no. at all. How many Not people are actually like Irish here? <sighs> okay, there's a couple. <laughs> Um, Al is bouncing up and down. So like I, I, I was told I was a, let me say the, the correct pronunciation, a plastic, a plastic paddy. What does that mean? Translate. A plastic paddy. I've, I've got 12% Irish in me. And uh, yes, 12%, very small. But supposedly I'm called a plastic paddy. A plastic paddy. Yeah. I'm not full Irish, yeah. but I've got some Irish. But on St. Patrick's Day, you're like totally Irish, right? Because we all are. Everybody's Irish. Yeah, St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. Well, it's, it's, it's an interesting thing because a lot of people have Irish in them, right? Like you always meet people, I've got like 1% Irish or 20% or I've got 12%. The Irish really got around. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. They really spread their seed through the, the known worlds, you know? They're getting so busy. good on you guys. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up. And I'm sure you've met some really nice people. What has the fan interaction been for you guys at Comic-Cons? What's sort of the, I know you have very loyal fans. What's it like to meet people that adore you? I mean, everyone's been wonderful. Everyone's been so, so nice. That's, like I said, I will be back. You guys have been incredible. We're so grateful to be here. Um, and yeah, I hope we get to come back. Everyone's been great. But yeah, sweating a little bit. I am yeah. sweating a little bit. Yeah. These lights aren't helping either. Yeah. Not at all. Now, as far as our roster for Comic-Con Northern Ireland, we have so many great actors here from Lord of the Rings, from Twilight, from so many different genres. Was there anyone that you met this tour that you were excited to meet or starstruck by? When I flew from London to Ireland, um, I got onto the plane and I sat down and I realized I was sitting next to uh, Elijah Wood. Wow. Yeah, and I'm a fan, but I... Obviously, didn't make it look like I was a fan. I was like, oh, hey, bro, how you doing? <laughs> Trying uh, to be cool. <clears throat> and he's like, hey, I'm Elijah. I'm like, oh, hey, I'm Nathaniel. And then I was like, mom, <laughs> I'm sitting next to Elijah. She's like, get a, fo get a, a photo of Frodo. I was like, I can't do that. I'll lose, <laughs> I'll lose any, like, you know, like, level I have with him, you know? So I was just like, I'll just not do you that. You have to. You should. I, was, I, I, get sh I, I don't know. I just got shy. Come on. I know. I loved Lord of the Rings. So it yeah. was really, like... When he fell asleep, I was just like, I shouldn't be saying this because he's here. <laughs> he we like, know he's listening guy's... somewhere. You know what? He has a panel later today. Just come and get a photo I'll of that. There you go. I'll ask him a question. Join Do you often panel. sleep when you fly? <laughs> Do you want a photo of you asleep <laughs> while you're flying? No, have you it's, had a, it's have fun. You ever, have you ever had a weird fan moment where someone's tried to do a selfie with you while you're sleeping, Elijah? No, I don't think I have. Uh, actually... <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it. No, it's fun you for us to hear that. <laughs> Being Elijah. Because you guys as celebrities, it's fun to hear that you then can fangirl or fanboy over someone like that. Who for you has been like that? Have you met any, any actors that you were starstruck by? This guy Daniel? right here. <laughs> just so starstruck. Um, I haven't met, we just got here, so I haven't met everyone yet, but I'm excited to meet some people. Um, Sean Astin. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm a big Rudy fan, so that will be pretty cool. Yep. Um, I'll also, I also haven't asked for a photo yet, but I Who? should. Sean Astin. Yeah? Yeah. When you do, let me know, and I'll go up to... Perfect. Elijah, well, I... we can do it at the same time. Yeah. Both, yeah. yeah. Just real quick, like photo I'm going to make up an excuse. Yeah. They're on the same panel. Just come and see us. Yeah. I'm sure they won't charge you. Right? It's going to be fine. I mean, I'll pay. Yeah. No, no, I'll be like, <laughs> hey, my little sister's a huge fan. Can you just sign this for her? Yeah, sure. What's her name? Uh, N-A-T-H-A-N-I-E-L. Nathaniel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's her name. 
sweet little sister, <laughs> Nathaniel. My we, mom, my mom wasn't creative with names. <laughs> she just gave us all the same name. Anyway, just sign it. Shut up. Give me the, give me the autograph. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Don't worry, guys. If you have any questions for Riley and Nathaniel, please come on up to the microphone. Don't be shy. I knew it. She was not shy. Yeah. She's like, if you have any questions. Or, yeah. Anyway. All right. Come on up. Um, if if you could have any other role in like the originals, the Vampire Diaries, or the Legacies, who would you have? Wanted to like play. <laughs> Why do you look at me? Because I know what you're. <laughs> but okay. Um, um, well, originally, um, no, I can't say that. There's only so much I can say. I will say. I'll go ahead and say. I Rebecca. Yeah. I love Claire Holt, and so if I had to switch, that's who. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? I would play Joseph's character. Yeah. I think. He got know. paid the most. He got paid the most. <laughs> yeah. But he also shouted the most. Like, Rebecca! <laughs> so you'd probably lose your voice most weeks and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Hi. Uh, can I ask about Hightown, about the new season that's coming out, maybe an insight or your favorite scene to film. I was quite shocked. Um, I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I was really attached to Hightown. I love the show. I want to know a little bit about your filming experience and about the new season coming out. So I can only say so much, unfortunately, right now. But one, thank you so, so much, because that means a lot to me. I don't get a whole lot of people to, talking about it, you know? Um, so thank you. Um, not sure when the third season's gonna be out yet. It has been shot, but that's all I can say about that right now. And um, my experience was probably one of the best in my life, um, filming-wise. Just uh, incredible cast, production, directors, everyone. It was a dream, dream role and experience for me. Um, I, I loved every minute of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, what was your favorite episode of film on the originals and why? Are we allowed to? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't way. know either. Um, does, does, sorry, guys. We're like a little hesitant because of the strike, so we're yes. trying to figure out how we can word things so that it's strike appropriate. Yeah, yeah. No, no specific um, show titles or role names. We just have to be very more vague. Yeah. Hypothetically, if we were on a show. Uh, yeah, hypothetically, if I was on a what? show and I wasn't striking right now, yeah. I would be... Um, my favorite episode would possibly fall in season three uh, of a show that I worked on. <laughs> it's quite difficult. As you guys know, we're striking at the moment, so we're not allowed to really discuss and talk too much about the specifics, the specifics of the shows that we worked on in protest of what the studios are, are doing. But I think we can talk about like our experience overall. Right. So like, I guess I could say any scene that we were all together yeah. as the family I love were doing, my favorite. I like yeah. doing flashbacks. Oh, yeah. I, I did enjoy doing flashbacks. Um, that was the, probably my favorite part, where you had to dress up, throw some wigs on, you know, wear some, uh, you know, period piece clothing, which was very uncomfortable, but still looked cool. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I have to point out these fabulous T-shirts. If you ladies can turn around, it says, bite me, vampires only. It's good to clarify. I thought that was smart. We love that. That's so great. So Come technically, up, I'm allowed to bite her. Is that what? I think no. so. I wonder if that will hold in a in a in a like a legal proceeding I don't know. in Ireland. You never know what's going to happen at Comic Con. Here, like, here, hey, Judge. Uh, <laughs> co co court is in order. Why did you bite this girl? Well, her T-shirt said I could, Your Honor. So Sounds fair to me. I did. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, who would you have been closest to on the side of originals? Let me translate that, just because I've got 12% Irish. <laughs> She said, who would you be closest to on the set of originals? Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Very good. Not you. Not me. Is it because I got 12% Irish in yeah. me? No, I'm Irish too. How much Irish have you all, got? All our names, mine's Riley, and then my sub siblings are Sullivan and Connor. We're all Irish last names. Wow. O'Reilly, O'Sullivan, O'Connor. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Very, how much, how much are the percentage-wise? I don't know. What makes me not a plastic patty? 
How much do I need? I'd, I'd say 30% and up. All right, so 31% up. 31%, wow. <laughs> We've got a non-plastic patty here. Um, we worked it out. Who were you, who were you closest with act, actor-wise on the show? I would say I'm closest with you now. Yeah, yeah. Like, for sure. I like, would say so. You'd be number one. And then... Yes. If we were rating people... Uh, <laughs> yeah, who did you hate, just between us? Who's love? Who did you hate? Who's, who's at the bottom? Gillies. Gillies. <laughs> I just do. kidding. No, just I love kidding. Gillies. He's I our love favorite. Gillies. He's our favorite, but we always joke. But you know what? That. I still have Daniel saved in my phone as Daniel Vampire Diaries, because no. when I first met him on Vampire Actually, Diaries... Actually, I have people, too, saved that way. Yeah, because yeah. I'm just, like, easy to remember, because I have a lot of Daniel, so it's just Daniel Vampire Diaries, so... <laughs> You know, yeah. We were all very close, though. We, we were very, were, it was like a family. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great question. Hi. Um, what was your favorite part about being on the originals? I would say the best part about being on a show like that is the fan base. Like, you know, we finished in 2018, was it? Or was it seven? Was it 17? Maybe end of 2017? And the show is still so, so popular. Um, so I think that's the best part about working on a show that it really just has like a really, really cult following. The fans are very, very dedicated. You know, you'll even sit in a very, very hot factory-like area that's humid just to listen to us speak about nonsense. It really is amazing. Like yeah. all these years later and you guys are keeping these characters alive and just fill us up with so much love. So just thank you so, so much. It really makes us happy and really has been the best part. Yeah, it's um, amazing. With you guys, yeah. I wish I could go back and do another season. Yeah, let's yeah. write it. We will. Yeah, after. Great okay, questions, after. ladies. You guys have such a loyal fan base, and the entire cast that we've met have all been really nice. I'm going to interrupt with one serious question. It's a safe question, I promise. Are you wearing a Swifty bracelet? <laughs> uh, yeah. Any Swifties in the house? Just checking. Yes. <laughs> I went two nights in a row in LA. No yeah, I did. I did. Big Swifty. Um, but yeah, one of the fans gave it to me, um, and um, I love it. I'm I'm forever Swifty. Yay! Which we love one is that. it? What do you mean? Well, is that it? Oh, Swifty. You don't know what Swifty means? Uh, Taylor Swift. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay. Yeah, very good. Gold star. It. Gold star. Get a question here from the first side. off. Hi, I love you guys. Um, and second off. When you started filming the vampire, let's go back. First of all, how much do you love us? Just a lot. Like, put it put it into some sort of like you know, tangible definition. Like a million percent. Like, would you disown your whole family to have like dinner with us or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I understand how much you love us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, when you first started, obviously filming the Vampire Diaries, and then with you for the originals, did you think your fan base would grow as big? And obviously, all these years later, that you'd still have so many fans come and see you. I always knew the show was going to be big. I tested for Stefan, so uh, it came down to myself and Paul Wesley for that role. And so back then, I knew the show was going to be really, really popular, just based off of like what was going on with Twilight. But I don't think I could ever imagine that, like you know five years on, almost six from filming, that we would still be so, so popular today. And it's kind of amazing. Like, every single country I go to in the world, I'll get recognized, you know? And it's kind of amazing to think how much... Even sometimes well, people will recognize you and they're not really sure who you are, but the show itself has just been so, so popular. They're like, I know I know you from somewhere. And you, when you say Vampire Diaries in the originals, they're like, oh, yes, of course. Like, so it is. It's really amazing. It's hard to believe. Thank you. Oh. You didn't want your answer. Well, I, it was for you. I didn't start on, you know, She's that left. Show. She's left. <laughs> She's on her way home. Yeah. Um, hi. Um, I was wondering who inspired you to start acting? Oh, um, good question. Who inspired us to start acting? Uh, for me, I kind of have a different way that I fell into acting. I didn't grow up doing theater. I was actually going to be a structural engineer. And I... Um, fell into acting um, and just got really, really lucky and took from my first acting class, I had a coach named John Homa and he just really turned me into an actor and I fell in love with it and realized I was gonna do that forever and kind of changed my whole life. So it was actually an acting coach, yeah. Thank you. 
What about you? Uh, I used to clean the shelves. At a, a lot of you kids won't understand this. It's called a video store. So that predates DVDs, and you're like, well, ask your mum and dad what a DVD is. Um, but I used to clean the shelves of, the, of a video store just to get the dust off when I was a kid, and uh, it was my first job, and I used to just watch movies all the time while I was cleaning. And so I used to love watching uh, Leonardo DiCaprio as a kid. Um, and so I always had a dream to become an actor because I sort of saw this life that he was doing and the, you know, the things that he was creating on, on film and on screen. And, and when I was 16 years old, I won like a, a look-alike competition. Uh, when oh, you guys have to see this. You should, have you ever posted it? No, oh, I think oh I God. have somewhere. I wish we had it right here. I know. Awesome. You got to post it because he actually does look exactly As a kid, like I looked like, Leonardo. no, you're like, how? When, when, when did it change, Nate? It's I was like, a, I don't know. That um, photo, maybe I'm though, glad. it does look exactly. <laughs> yeah, I looked so much like DiCaprio as a little kid. I had the hair parted. Yeah. And I won this competition to go to the premiere of Titanic in Sydney. Uh, because I won this competition. And as soon as I saw that movie, I was like, I've got to become an actor. And so from that moment on, I just tried my best to make it. And fortunately, I, I was lucky enough to get to the US. And I did that with my um, vampire ability oh. um, to put it on the floor. And yeah, so it's been amazing. Thank you. Have thank a good you. day. Thank you. thank you. He said thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. Now, what if, what if Leonardo DiCaprio was next to you on a plane? What would you do? Uh, I've been next to DiCaprio. I have too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Hi, yeah, we've got a nice. question right here. He's nice. He's nice. Great actor. Hi, uh, yeah, just, just, want, just for start, I said good luck in the strike there. I know it's very okay. tough for everyone there at the moment. But I've thank got two you. questions, but the first one's for Riley there. Um, you started on one of my favorite HBO series, like The Newsroom, there. And do you have any great memories of working on that series? I do. It, um, it was, again, one of the best of my life because I was a brand new actor. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, super lucky that Sorkin took a chance on me. And even though I was like a smaller role on that show, I was there every day for, you know, four years or however long it was learning from the it was the best acting school of my life because it was I was around the best of the best you know Jeff Daniels Sam Watterson Dev Patel um Allison Pill Olivia Munn I mean just the the cast and everyone were so amazing that every day I got to learn from them by watching and so I'm super super grateful for that Excellent. yeah thank and, you uh, Nathan, uh, I, I know you started in the Lego series, one of series Supernatural. Do you have any memories of working on that series? Yeah, I mean, I just remember Jensen and Jared being extremely tall, like really, really tall. And I, I, I'm like six foot one, so I'm not really, you know, I guess I'm an average, average height. But when I worked with those guys, I felt like I was just like looking up the whole time. Um, but that was a cool experience too, because I watched Supernatural when I was younger. So I had like a, a bit of a surreal moment when I was doing a scene with Jensen and Jared and I was sitting in the back of a, you know, in, in, a, in the back of a car with them and, and they looked back at me and I was like, oh, this is kind of surreal because I remember watching it as a kid and now I'm sort of playing in this scene and there was like a moment of like, is this a reality? Is this like a dream? Like, you know, so that was kind of fun. I wish the show had got picked up. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Great you. questions. I really do. Just for time's sake, guys. Private jet. We're going to take one final question, and they've got to get back to the autograph area. We'll do a final question here. Thank you. I love you all so much, but if you were in the original... How much do you love us? So much. What would you give up today if you had to? Everything. Everything? Yeah. What do you got? Not a lot. What's in your bag? Hairbrush and... What's in the... Give it to me. We'll take it. Prove it. You just said you'd give up everything. Give me your hairbrush. I want it as a gift. Um, Liar! <laughs> She wouldn't even give a hairbrush away. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I'd give everything. Give me the hairbrush. No. The hairbrush is important to me. <laughs> okay, what about the bracelet? Uh, I kind of like the bracelet. Okay, well, what about one of the shoes? No, like, oh, I don't have one. Like, just be honest. Could you let the girl ask her question? Like, I, like you, I like you enough not to give you anything would have been a suffice answer is what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> if you were in originals, what creature or mythical being do you think you'd be? Like us as, as people, like Riley and Nathaniel. Um, well, I loved playing a witch. I feel like that was 
you know, I was meant to do that. But I never got to fight that much. And I wanted to fight. And so, like, I feel like I would, wanted to be, like, a werewolf or maybe even the vampires got to fight a lot. We did a lot of fighting. Yeah. I never got to fight. Yeah. You know? But it's, sometimes the fighting's weird. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Like... I would just break next. Daniel time. Gillies and my fight scenes, he, he always just squeezed a little too much. <laughs> like... Uh, and I, I'm Australian, so I won't say anything. I'm just like, yeah, go harder, bro. Do more. Do more. I didn't even feel it. And then I'll go home and I'll just be like bruised and marked up. No. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it was funny. It was funny. Funny haha. -ha. Funny haha -ha for me. <laughs> just because I'm like, you know, as an Australian, I'm sure the Irish people get this. You'll never show pain. You know, even if I was in pain, I'd be like, no, nah, I didn't feel anything. Like, one time I did a scene with uh, Davina and I was doing this stunt and I was supposed to run towards her and I was supposed to hit a wall. Like the invisible, you know, whatever they call it, that stops us from being able to touch each other, um, which all parents should somehow be able to create. And another joke. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm doing this stunt and I'm flying and I have this like cable to my back, which is supposed to stop me, but my shoes slipped as I'm stopping myself and I just smashed myself. And it was so painful. But as an Australian, everyone's like, Are you all right? I'm like, Yeah, I'm fine. It didn't even hurt. And I was like, I'm fine. It was totally fine. Oh, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm brave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty brave. But anyway, wow. yeah. So sometimes it's not doing cool okay. than the things. Okay, maybe I don't want to be a vampire. Yeah, what about one time I tried to choke Ian. You know, I had to choke Ian in one of those scenes. I think it was uh, season three of Vampire Diaries. And um, I remember Ian saying to me, hey, hey, uh, I'll sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how are you going to sell it? I'm choking you, you know? Let me sell it. <laughs> I became the Daniel Gillies in the scene. You know, a little bit too much. It was too enjoyable beating up Damon. I will say that. Well, they're both here tomorrow, so maybe we'll have to recreate some magic moments there. Who's going to be here with us tomorrow? Yes. yes, we've got Ian and Paul tomorrow. Thank you. Great question. Guys, yes, any final words you. for your adoring fans here in Belfast before we let you get back to the autograph area? Anything, sorry? Any final words for your fans? Final words? We love you, and we love it here. And thank you for coming to see us, and we're going to have a really fun weekend together. And you guys just really mean a lot to us, keeping everything alive, the show alive, the characters alive, and uh, giving us little reunions to see each other, um, which has yeah. also been nice. Yeah, thank you so much for being such uh, supportive fans. Um, you know, whether it's on social media or in person, uh, we are really, 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 really grateful as actors. And um, this weekend, feel free to come up to our tables, come and say hi. You don't necessarily have to buy an autograph or a selfie. Like, we're really happy just to chat and uh, get to know some of you guys a little bit more personally. So please feel free to come up to our tables throughout this weekend and, and come and say hi at the very least. And thanks for coming out this weekend. And yeah. Thank you guys for making so many memories with us here in Belfast. Please show your appreciation for Riley and Nathaniel.